Hey guys, I am back with another educational video. So listen up, because I'm going to learn you something, all right? Today we're going to be talking about rich versus lean conditions and how to adjust your carburetor. Well, not so much how to adjust your carburetor, but how to determine whether or not your engine's running rich or lean. All right? All right. I'm here with my uh, snowblower, Tecumseh engine. Classic, bulletproof, reliable, whatever. So... The beauty of this guy here is that I can adjust the emulsion tube, the main jet, whatever. Anyways, I can adjust it. I can make it rich or I can make it lean without changing emulsion tubes, main jet, you know, whatever. Anyways, so first I'm going to show you an engine that's running properly. Right, so there you have it. That's an uh, engine that's adjusted properly. Um, yeah, you can just hear there's no snaps or pops, there's no bogging. You can rev it up, drop it down. It doesn't do anything weird. It responds properly to the throttle. That's you, that's a good sign. Um, that's, well, that's what you want. Just nice and smooth and even. Pretty straightforward. All right, so now I'm going to show you a lean condition. Right. that was a lean condition. So your key characteristics of a lean condition you can hear was popping, sputtering, did not want to rev up. You can, if once, I mean, it's starving for fuel, but I mean, if you don't know engines and you're new to this, you're not really going to know what that sounds like. But basically that video clip was textbook starving for fuel. Um, that's lean. Uh, primary characteristic are those sna snaps and bangs that you hear. Um, so once you start hearing those, you know, you're probably lean. Also, you notice when I rev it up, it just kind of fell flat on its face. Um, and it wasn't like a bogging fall flat on its face. It's more like the engine just totally quit. So, all right, uh, we're going to move on. I'm going to richen it up, show you a rich condition. There you go. That was a rich condition. So how can you tell that's a rich condition? So you can see kind of how uh, it's the opposite of the lean condition. When you snap the throttle, it doesn't fall flat on its face. It responds, jumps up, but then as soon as it responds, jumps up, grabs that RPM, it falls flat on its face. And then you see carbon shooting out the tailpipe. So um, yeah, so I guess a lean condition, it's not going to want to respond right to the throttle. It's going to fall flat on its face. Um, you're going to have flames coming out the uh, exhaust if it's dark, you know, you might see them in the daytime. But then the rich condition responds to the throttle, it jumps up um, when you crack it, but then if it, 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 you, you can hear it bog down. So it bogs down and it'll shoot black soot out, it doesn't shoot flames. Because basically when you're lean, you're going to have excess EGTs, um, like high cylinder um, combustion um, temperatures uh, when you're rich. Um, the fuel is actually going to cool it down, so that's why you don't get the flames. You get you just get the, the unburnt fuel, the, the black carbon shooting out. It's also introducing a little bit of richness is what they do when they do um, tuning sometimes just to kind of uh, reduce combustion temperature, just to kind of control that. Um, but anyways, whatever. This is supposed to be a simple video. We're just, it's just basic. So... Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. hope that helps you out a little bit. Um, yeah, stick around. Maybe I'll do some more educational videos like this. So, 
Yeah. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.